Uh, Vinny, you're going to kick us off. Then we'll go uh, to uh, James from TalkSport, then James from BBC Merseyside and Carl Markham from Press Association. And I think we've got Neil Jones to come in as well. So, OK, fire away. Hey, again, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, we'll start with the good news from the African Cup of Nations, really. How do you feel that both Mo Salah and Sadio Mane are through to the final? And is it something you'll all watch together on Sunday evening? Didn't, with the team? Yeah. Uh, I have nothing planned yet. Um, didn't think about it, but we, we, we followed it pretty closely. So, uh, yeah, great achievement, obviously, for both getting through um, to the final. is great. Nabi played an exceptional tournament as well. Unfortunately, uh, was suspended for yellow cards in a decisive game for them. I think otherwise, Guinea had a good, would have had a good chance to go through uh, a bit further as well. So, so far, a really successful tournament for our boys. And... Um, Will be exciting. Now it's obviously not so so easy <laughs> um, um, because we have to watch the game, and one will be definitely really happy after it, and the other one much less so. So um, yeah, but both have a good chance to um, achieve something really big. How successful as well, Jurgen, was the transfer window for you? Obviously, Nico Williams and Nat Phillips have both been able to get low moves to get more regular first team football. What's the plan now for Luis Diaz as well as he comes in? Is it patience or is he ready to impact straight away? And what it hopes or what expectation is there that you will eventually get Fabio Carvalho as well? So, first of all, it's really good for, for uh, Nico and, and Nate especially. Uh, Nate deserved it so much so that we would love to keep him here, to be honest, uh, with all the things. It's happened in the last few years here yeah. <laughs> on the center position. So Nate was um, incredibly reliable and um, a great, great figure here at the training ground. Um, and but it's really well deserved. I'm, I'm really happy for them, for both of them. Um, Lewis, yeah. So let me say it like this: If he would now come, step on a pitch, and would be immediately. At his absolute best and 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 playing better than all others of us uh, that would be really strange because we worked together for a while so that needs time of course that he adapts to it but that doesn't mean i don't speak about uh four or five months or whatever i speak it needs time so it was i didn't even see him yet so he was <laughs> not here at the training ground maybe we should wait a little bit <laughs> we are really happy and excited about uh, the signing and i think it's a really good um just a really good sign um, that we that we work on all fronts um, to improve this team um, and how it always is. Obviously, in football, we work. Um, we, we have to be successful now um, and in the future, and so he can help with both. So that's a really good thing. Fabio, do you ask about him as well? Yeah. What was the question there? It was just a, what expectation you have of still being able to complete a deal for him. I don't know. I don't know. We will see that. We are obviously still interested. It would be crazy if not, but um, <laughs> it's just um, that's uh, in the moment obviously not in our hands. Uh, but yeah, for the, I think Marcus said it all yesterday in his press conference. Um, the, with these kind of deals, they, it was pretty, um, yeah, it was late um, before the transfer window closed again. And so in the end, it didn't work out. But um, yeah, we will see what happens. And with regards to the weekend, obviously early stages still of the FA Cup, but what hunger is there to make it two domestic cup finals this, Massive. this season? Massive. Cannot say more. So it's absolutely we, we, we are not we are not a fam the most successful FA Cup team um, <laughs> at least not as long as I am here. So uh, we have, uh, yeah, we are quite um, ambitious. Fantastic. Okay, we go to James from Tutsport and then James from uh, BBC Merseyside. Thank you, Vinny. James. Yeah. Hi, Jürgen. Just how impressed have you been by Luis Diaz's journey so far? And how do you feel like he complements the, the options you have going forward? I'm excited because we, we like pretty much everything about him. So that's how it is. Um, I followed him now for a while, uh, not only since we played them twice, uh, in the Champions League, so he is an exceptional player. He has the speed, he has the skill set, he has um, the character, 
um, to, to, to have a really good career. And um, we all want him to have this career here with us. And um, that's it. He's, uh, I'm not sure, but in now, nowadays when you have 16, 17 year old boys playing in highest level, then it's maybe a little bit a late bloomer, but um, they bloom exceptionally well. So it's very often and really happy that we, <laughs> that we could um, get him in now and um, can help him and he can help us. So yes, the story so far is, is a special one, yeah, for sure. We have some players with special stories behind them. Um, I like that and now uh, he's one of us and we can't wait to welcome him here and then um, start working together. And how close is Harvey Elliott now to making a comeback? How impressed have you been by his rehabilitation from such a horrendous injury? Very much. We have really to thank uh, Andreas Schlumberger for that. Uh, maybe he's our now head of rehab here and he was very in it, very patient. But Harvey uh, was the perfect um, client, if you want. So he did pretty much everything we told him. So without one question, why, whatever. Um, so he's in a good place. Um, full, in, full team training. Now we have to see. We have to see what is right for him. Is it right to start? Is it right to come on? But he will be in the squad definitely for, for, the, for the Cardiff game and from there we go. So it looks, most of the things look completely natural, absolutely really quick after a long, long period without proper team training. And when you saw him the first time, you thought immediately, yeah, maybe we take him <laughs> with us, um, but it makes obviously no sense. So he has now step by step to, to get back on uh, to his best, but he is close, very close. Thank you, James. James Mountford from, Mountford, sorry, from uh, BBC Merseyside. Thanks, Matt. Hi, Jürgen. Um, just off the back of that, may I also ask about some other team news, please? Um, Tiago and Divica Rigi and Naby, uh, how, how possible it is we'll, we'll see them? Uh, Tiago trained with us. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, when COVID is around, you always um, think it's the only infection you can get or a virus you can get, but he had a little chest infection, so he had to step a little bit aside again. And it's not perfect, of course, but I expect him to be in team training today again. So we'll see. But the, the, the rest, the injury is completely fine. Look really good in training, but that's how sometimes things are. Um, so we'll see how how we can use him for uh, for Sunday. Who are the others? Sorry, Nabi. And Nabi, Nabi is completely fine. So Nabi came back full of energy. Um, had a couple of days, a few days off as well. Came back here after the tournament, yeah, obviously full of energy and confidence. So that looked good. And Divok. Divok. Divok, yesterday, first time full team training. Looked very good, but was first time full team training after I don't know exactly how long was was a while. Um, so for me, here we go as well. And just on Mo and Sadio, how possible is it they might be available for Thursday? Would that be too soon for them? We play again Thursday. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, for I think they will be available. But I, we will see. So if the one who wins will probably fly back to the home country, the celebration. Um, that's how it is. And I think Tuesday or Wednesday, latest, the winner will be back. Um, and the other one probably slightly earlier. So we will see. And then I have to talk to them. I don't know. But, um, they, but if they have some one thing, they have rhythm. <laughs> they played obviously quite a few games, um, and we will see. I have to speak to them then. Okay, thank you, James. Just before I go to Carl, if the, those for the, I've taken all the hands I can, I'm afraid for the open. If those of you who want to ask a question in the uh, first breakout, which is for the national newspapers, please put your hands up, and I can only take a couple there as well. Uh, Carl Markham, Press Association. Hi, Jürgen. Um, fan, you, fans often criticise the, the transfer activity or lack of transfer activity or big name signings. I'm just wondering what what the what the signing of, of Diaz says about the capabilities of of the club and and the strategy it employs when it it deals with transfer signings. Who well, criticised us? Well, I, there's lots and. Of when, you, when they say all the, all the teams spend, you know, 100, 200 million in one window and, and you don't, there's always like, well, why, we, why isn't Liverpool doing that? But you have a specific strategy. It seems to be evident you have a specific strategy as, as to how you approach signings. Yeah. Our strategy is um, to sign the right players at the right moment. <laughs> 
I have no idea. Was there ever a team who spent 200 million in one transfer window? Let's not go there. No, wow. Um, no, it's um, it's all about that. So we we we, we recognize issues. We recognize and uh, issues like on a position or whatever, or with contracts or these kind of things. And we are long together with this team. It's great, fantastic team, one of the most successful in the in, in the history of this of this club. But we we will never miss um, having a look. Um, ahead as well so and that's exactly what we are doing but you cannot we are we are liverpool so we cannot just um we cannot only work with talents and let's have a look in two three years they will be ready this must be always a mix-up of everything so we have a lot of talents we have really great players in the moment here so in this in the in the first team squad and around the first team squad for a few of them i'm 100 sure they will definitely be uh, liverpool players so um, but not now and that's what we do building a team for now and for tomorrow um, and with uh, with the things we do, we are happy. If other people are not happy with it, <laughs> uh, I cannot change that. This is the way the club is doing it. I think pretty much already before I arrived. So and um, since I'm here, I'm absolutely used to it, and that's the way it is. Thank you, thank you, Carl. And then finish in the open with Neil Jones. Final reminder for hands up, please, from the uh, guys in the dailies. At the moment, we've got Dave Maddock. Um, Neil Jones to finish this part of the press conference. Hi, yeah, again, just just on on Mo and, and Sadio from a Liverpool point of view, what are the how would it benefit Liverpool to have players on that stage under that pressure? You know, obviously carrying the weight of their their nation and and, and potentially achieving you know another big trophy in their career because we know how ambitious those players are. So how much we benefit from it, I don't know, but it was obvious. I watched a lot of games and it was really obvious that Nabi was the absolute leader in the Guinea team and um, same for Sadio in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Senegal team and of course more with Egypt. So yesterday between the, um, when the coach was not there anymore because he got a red card, um, before the penalty shoot you saw more talking, speaking and, and all these kind of things with the whole group. So it's all the things, all the experience these boys get in these situations help us, of course. Short term, I'm not sure. Long term, definitely help them as well. Um, so that's why it was very impressive to see. It's really very impressive to see. And um, um, it's very important that you get through these kind of things. It's difficult, obviously, um, to get that far in a tournament. The pressure on the... On, on the they are the superstars there. Eh? So the pressure um, in the tournament. So the, the pressure they had, they, they had on their shoulders was massive um, and how they deal with it. I'm really proud of them, to be honest. And now two of them are in the final. And um, yeah, we will watch it, definitely. Did, did you have any doubt when Mo was taking that penalty in the quarterfinal? <laughs> did you have any doubt that he'd score? No, I know Mo has no doubt. So why should, why should I doubt it then? No. <laughs>